July started out with beautiful weather and the backyard was blooming with shimmering green leaves. The magical strawberry patches were ripe for picking though most were eaten by birds and insects at this point. I have this patch of mint growing right underneath this rose bush. It comes back every year even if I try to get rid of it to make room to plant something else. At this point, I've come to accept it and harvest it whenever it pops up. They do smell wonderful though. This year, I wanted to try some squash blossoms. This pumpkin patch grew randomly this year. I don't even know what kind of pumpkin it's supposed to be. But there were so many squash blossoms popping up, I took the opportunity to harvest some of them to eat. The fig tree looked promising this year because of all the rain that we had earlier. Sadly, the figs were not good this year. <laughs> We got the recipe off from the internet, and because this was our first time making one, we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, with a spoon and a big Small enough too, so yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Kimchi? <laughs> it kind of looks like kimchi. Alright, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna batter. I feel like I finally um, got my sleeping schedule fixed because I was just so exhausted, like heat exhaustion. Like I wasn't able to sleep properly for a couple days. You know how you can like stay up so late that you eventually get to be sleeping at like 9 p.m. That's a, that's kind of what I did. I was just so exhausted, and this heat wave that's going on prevented me from getting my sleep. So I woke up today at like 5 and I've just been chilling for like an hour and now I'm like, okay, I need to I need to get my day started. I also haven't been eating much because of the heat, like where you're just, it's so hot that you no longer feel hungry. Having woken up during where the weather is so good, I actually felt hunger so I got to eat something and I feel energized. It's great. So I'm gonna finish my makeup and get the day going. I think I need food. I'm gonna get some food. I know I was like super anxious a couple hours ago, but I'm doing the very opposite right now. I just completed something that was very, very stressful. <laughs> it's been on my mind for like 
months actually it's there's more stuff along the way but this was like a big hurdle something business related and it's one of the most stressful things i've probably have yet faced so i'm so glad it's done <laughs> i'm so glad instead of coping i could finally just lay back and decompress for like a second let me talk to you about this cute little piece that i recently found um, I totally forgot about it. This was something I bought from, I think, Renfair several years ago. And it's a little hair piece that you could put on. I bought it when I had silver hair, so it was not noticeable whenever I wore it. Like, it would be just, like, very small thing in my hair that you may or may not see. Slide it up. Isn't that so cute? Totally forgot about it just because I haven't worn it in a while. And that was mainly because you couldn't see it in my hair because my hair was silver back in the day. But now that it's black, I, I'm gonna wear it more often. Especially because I didn't get to go to Ren Fair this year and I really wanted to go to Ren Fair. It's a little crescent moon pendant on the bottom. Isn't that the cutest? 